Yes, uh, yes uh, here the data link controller, uh, today I am going to explain. The data link uh, controller, uh, it is going to basically contains the no, like uh, many more functions okay in that our uh, data communication subject it, ha it can have only few functions okay in, uh, what are, are that functions means framing flow control error control and smooth and reliable transmission of framings okay see this four method uh, we supposed to use in this uh, uh, right now data link controller okay along with that uh, two more means uh, what are the extra functions means it is a uh, it contain the physical address and as well as access control okay so that is also extra two more functions then uh, first of all what is the uh, data link layer will do okay the data link layer uh, uh, whatever the sender having the message okay the message in the form of any text or audio video okay whatever it may be okay that message it is going to converted as a frames then what is the frame here frame is nothing but the given data it is going to consider as a or it is going to divide it as a manageable unit okay yes this is what the receiver sorry, sender have sorry sender having the data this data i am going to divide it as a small now unit okay that small unit i can manage at the receiver side okay means the each and every data it is going to consider as a small small number of uh, frames I mean small small number of uh, bit that bit it is going to manageable at the receiver side this is what our data link controller will be do then what is the flow control okay so this is what the flow control uh, the flow control uh, it is nothing but it is going to uh, like you uh, you assume how the flow control will be works okay you consider one room okay one classroom okay that is a network okay in that network if all the students are the devices okay or uh, in that uh, devices all the students are connected to that particular uh, uh, room has a network right uh, means all uh, in one network all the devices it is going to interconnected that particular network in that network one of the transmission it is going to pass the data from sender to receiver during that time our all the devices it is going to access that particular link that method we call it as a flow control yes means during that particular transmission uh, uh, line okay all the devices will be connected in that particular link that during that time your all the devices will be flow in one serial manner so that method we call it as a flow control then what is the error control error control is nothing but okay if in between okay in between sender and receiver okay during that time we are going to pass the data or we are going to pass the frames okay between any problems or any noisy will occur or a disturbance will occur that that particular um, uh, function or that particular uh, method we call it as a error control okay then what is a smooth and reliable transmission yes smooth and reliable transmission is nothing but yeah we need to uh, supply the uh, message or information uh, in the form of frames okay we required some physical media that media is nothing but here smooth and reliable transmission okay then the next topic is what is the data Con link controller how to implement it yes uh, like we we implement that uh, data link uh, controller we need some set of data link protocols okay that protocol what are the first of all protocols here the protocols is nothing but it is a set of rules and regulations govern the data communication this is the this method we call it as a protocols okay this protocol it is going to contain the two uh, no three characteristics the one is syntax semantics and timings okay uh, then sim syntax is nothing but it is going to tell the structure of the data okay then semantics nothing but it is going to implement it means how we can going to implement that particular structure okay where we have to going to implement it, that particular um, information okay then timing six it is the timings it is going to tell okay at what time i supposed to uh, reach the data okay when i am going to reach the 
send and reach the particular data and where exactly that packet is going to uh, reach okay that everything it is going to take care the timings okay then that protocol it is going to implement at the software and run by as the two nodes okay in uh, like it is going to exchanging the data at the data link layer okay so this is what we are going to implement it and control the our data link layer so then what is the framing I just now only i told the framing okay the framing is here the data transmission in physical layer means moving the bit in the form of signals yes because why because in transmission uh, media or the reliable transmission in that medium whatever the data or whatever the is the standard uh, information we cannot send because our computer or our uh, network it doesn't know the standard format of the information okay that it is going to convert it as a signals okay that signal it is uh, having the a uh, sequence of zeros and ones okay means if it is true or false okay that method it is going to take care all the information then it is going to flow in between the transmission path then the data link layer needs to pack bit bits into frames yes the data link layer whatever the data that is going to consider as a frames each frames must be distinguishable yes the each frame it is going to divided as the number of bits okay means manageable uh, data units uh, then what is the framing here the framing separates the message from one source to destination or other uh, means one message to other destination by adding the sender address and destination address yes obviously means this sender address is nothing but uh, okay we are going to add the headers headers is means we have to as a sender okay i am going to send that particular uh, message or information to one of the destination because uh, like you consider for example i am going to send uh, some letter one of the my friend because uh, i am having the, my own address and my friend also having the her own address so because then only i'm we are going to easily find out okay this is what my exact friend did she sent has sent the send the particular letter to me only like that the particular message the sender it is going to send that message along with their address to that particular destination address then only they are easily communicate uh, communicating without any disturbance or without any problems okay so this method we call it as a framing then this framing uh, we have the types of frames okay i mean uh, what is the types of frame okay the types of frame it contains the fixed size and variable size okay yes what is the fixed size the fixed size is nothing but that manageable data unit it have the their own size of packets or bit size okay that size we call it as a fixed size I means uh, the size itself have the delimiter okay then for example atm network okay for what is the variable size the variable size is nothing but the need to define the end of the frames at the beginning of the next it means it is going to define the address of the end of the frames and that address it is going to start with the next beginning of the bit then what is the character oriented protocols the next one is the character oriented protocols uh, it is uh, it is tells about the the data uh, the data bit or the data it is it is going to carry the 8 bit character from a coding schema I means uh, it is going to contain the 8 bit character in the single block that single block the 8 bit character it may be a ascii code okay the header it is normally carries the source and the destination as address along with the information yes that 8 bit uh, 8 bit block uh, code it have the center center address and destination address along with the information okay if if the trailer carries error detection or error correction redundant embeds are also multiple of 8 bits means the 8 bits it contains the sequence of 8 numbers along with the our extra bit okay the extra bit is nothing but our redundancy bit okay the redundancy bit it may be a more than 8 bits or it may be a more than 4 bit okay during that time okay if it is 8 bit uh, more than 8 bit means if the current data will be 
8 8 bit along with that extra bit also 8 bit so it should be multi